Hi, I'm Robert, and this is the Punch Shaft. In this video, we will demonstrate how to produce the punch shaft. First, we will cut the part to length. Next, we will drill the hole in the shaft. Finally, we will cut the threads on the end of the shaft using the lathe. As shown on the part print, the part is 3 inches long. A 10 degree angle is required on the side that will be punching through the paper. Clamp the quarter inch steel round stock into the cutoff saw, measuring 3 inches from the blade. Press the trigger and then bring the blade down to cut the part. Use the belt sander to deburr one end of the part. On the other end, use the belt sander to produce a 10 degree angle. This is the side that will be punching paper, so this end should be sharp and not chamfered. Use sandpaper to remove burrs on the sharp end of the punch, running the sandpaper along the length of the part so the sharp end is not dulled. Next, the part print calls for a 100 thousandths diameter hole 1.550 inches from the threaded end of the shaft. Clamp the part into a small vise. Use a ruler and center punch to mark the location of the hole. Place the part in a small vise on the drill press. Adjust the drill speed to 2000 RPM, then drill the hole. Deburr the hole, again using sandpaper. Any burrs on the shaft will prevent the part from fitting into the arbor. Remember to clean any chips from the drill press when done. Finally, we will thread the end of the shaft with a quarter twenty thread, approximately 0.5 inches long. Cut a relief at 0.5 inches with the same diameter as the minor diameter of the thread, 0.188 inches. Thread the end of the shaft with a quarter twenty thread. Check the fit of the threads with a quarter twenty nut before removing the part from the lathe. After cleaning and polishing, the punch shaft is complete.